And without further ado, our next speaker is the mayor of Helsinki. What an introduction. Um, you all know who the mayor is. I'll quickly just say that he's, actually I won't. I think that's enough of an introduction. Rather, yes, you all know who he is. Welcome. Good morning, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I feel like not having that much to say anymore because you told all the good stories from Helsinki already. But there, there is still something. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, Tekes has been a key player in building Finland's innovation ecosystem now for almost 35 years. Today we have come together to discuss how innovation and smart technology improve people's quality of life in the cities. This is a key question for the city of Helsinki as well. Helsinki wants to be the most functional city in the world. In order to be functional, you need to be smart. But on the other way around as well, if you want to be smart, you need to be functional. Major cities all around the world are growing fast, both in terms of population and importance. More than half of humanity lives already in cities. Cities are the new key players in the global economy as hotspots for commerce and innovation. The world is becoming more and more complex and the only way we can solve the urgent challenges is by innovation. Because of globalization and technology, cities can cooperate already in a global scale. On the other hand, we are also competing for investments, businesses and talented people. The cities that thrive in this competition are usually the ones with an open economy, diverse cultural life and functional smart infrastructure, like Helsinki. Digitalization and smart technologies are one way of making Helsinki the most functional city in the world. We strive to make better sense of global chains. We want to increase, among others, our staff's understanding of artificial intelligence and other technologies currently changing our world. We are committed to become the city in the world that makes the best use of digitalization. Constant and agile developing of the city's own functions and practices is the best guarantee for the city to deliver on its promises in public services, for keeping up a vibrant urban life, and for strengthening the international appeal of the city. Let me give you a few examples, some of them already mentioned here, how we, are, how we use smart city technologies in Helsinki to improve our citizens' lives and to make the world a little bit better place for everyone. Firstly, source of open data. Collection of data and opening that data is at the core of any smart city. Helsinki has already made most of its data open and it's a world leader in the number of opened data sets. I don't have the, uh, say, uh, say my, my statistics may be uh, from a year or two ago or something like that, but the last one uh, I saw uh, was that we had opened more data in the world than any other city except the city of New York. Open data applications help citizens follow decision making, send feedback to the city and reserve open spaces for their use. Helsinki's new 3D model enables us to improve energy efficiency and adapt city planning for climate change. The models enable the calculation of the possibilities of alternative energy sources, greenhouse gas emissions and the environmental impact of traffic. The model can be used for simulating the city's solar energy potential, areas with risk of flooding and for planning infill development. Data should also be used to understand problems in the city and how to tackle them measurably and effectively. The aim of the report on young people's welfare in Helsinki is to consolidate facts-based policy making and thereby create better public services for the young. The starting point is 
to pres present easily accessible open information that is updated regularly. Open data contributes to create new businesses and jobs. Startup companies such as Mars Global and Qty want to revolutionize the way we move around the city with their mobility as a service concepts. Their business model would not be possible without open data. Secondly, platform for smart mobility. I think Helsinki is already internationally known as a hotspot for smart mobility. The basic idea of mobility as a service is a disruption regarding ownership. The global market for smart, for smart mobility solutions is enormous. We can reduce air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions significantly and create huge business opportunities for companies. For citizens, this means cleaner air, smoother traffic, and a lot of new jobs. Helsinki is a place where innovative companies and individuals can take advantage of our innovation ecosystem. We offer the city, its infrastructure, and services as a test bed and platform for new ideas. Smart mobility solutions are tested, especially in Jatkasari. Helsinki has the second largest passenger harbor in the world. One beautiful day, not that far from today, we may be the biggest one. Uh, many pilots and smart mobility testing is done connected to the harbor and its surroundings. A new automated mooring system is in trial phase. The turnaround time of ships is already one of the fastest in the world and the new automated mooring system in trial phase will cut this by an additional 15%. It means better services to passengers and less pollution and noise to nearby inhabitants. The port is also testing several other solutions from solar panels to LNG fueling and ship waste water integrated to municipal system and transport solutions from port to city. The innovations in ports will lead the way to the development of autonomous ships. Maybe the first city in the world to introduce autonomous flying vehicles should be our next target. This is not a joke. Thirdly, what does all this smart city development translate into and how does it benefit our citizens? Do you feel that you could use an extra hour in your day? I believe we all do. In the flagship innovation district Kalasatama, already mentioned here, our goal is to create conditions for smart living and progressive everyday life so that people have one extra hour for themselves each and every day. Experimentation is a key part of such design approaches as lean, agile and failing fast, also when planning and designing new city services. Experimentation is needed when the future is unclear to learn more especially to learn more. In the smart city context, experimentation is a great way to learn about possibilities enabled by new technologies, requiring reorganization of service production and delivery. Most notably, the smart Kalasatama Innovation District has developed agile experimentation method and carried out experiments to accelerate smart city development. Besides 30 companies, also, 1,000 residents have participated in the experiments. An important ambition of the district is to develop a smart grid of global significance, where the latest technolo technological innovations in energy are combined to serve both the companies and the consumers, creating solutions which could be replicated and scaled up elsewhere. Finland has been the leader in PISA studies for years. The needs in future societies are changing dramatically. The new education curriculum, phenomenon-based learning, is teaching the children skills for the 21st century. In Helsinki, this has been taken even further. 
Helsinki is building a smart school, Älykkoulu, as we call it, operating model where future pedagogical solutions will be innovated and implemented. While experimenting, it's crucial to maximize learning, thus to engage all relevant stakeholder groups in the process. That means companies, city authorities, citizens, and university researchers. The experimentation works best when it is tied to a larger goal, a city strategy, a development project framework, or a compelling vision to give direction to the work. Innovations in mobility, energy, and housing will not only improve the citizens' quality of life, but will also literally save our planet. Helsinki is growing and transforming fast. At the same time, Helsinki has set a target of being completely carbon neutral by 2035. For instance, in Kala Satama, people can monitor their energy use in real time and the smart grid homes in real time to the internet. The consumer of electricity can also be its producer. The, the, the grid will also enable an electric vehicles network and new storage solutions of electricity. A carbon neutral city of, or society will not be built with limited improvements to current systems and solutions. It needs new, bold and disruptive solutions and technologies. In Helsinki, we have initiated a smart and clean hack the city process where the city, businesses, the, the R&D community and citizens are hacking the city and disrupting the businesses together. The city needs to open its infrastructure and data to be a platform for testing and developing new solutions. It also needs to be a true enable. This can either be done by regulating or deregulating. The Smart and Clean Foundation has identified over 70 different test and development platforms in Helsinki capital region. Importance of universities and research organizations as sources of innovation is, of course, important. For example, the Urban Academy is a platform for multidisciplinary research, teaching and societal impact in the field of urban studies. The main partners are the University of Helsinki, Aalto University and the City of Helsinki. The aim is not only that the research from world-class universities influences city policies, but that researchers and students understand the complexity, the complexity of a city system. Health Capital Helsinki aims to make Helsinki the leading European region of life science and health tech through, for example, clinical medical testing in healthcare centers. When global problems come to a head, a firm, I firmly believe that companies and experts increasingly appreciate a well-organized, reliable, and predictable operational environment. I think the best economic and business policy for a city to be a functional and smart one. This is what Helsinki is committed to be. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor Jan Vapavuori. I wondered if I could ask you a few questions before you uh, dash off. I don't think I have a choice. Okay. Oh, <laughs> You're Please trapped here. No, no, no. Yes. Uh, that was a wonderful, wonderful talk. And I think you, you covered a lot of ground. And I wondered if I might ask you two questions. Um, the first is, how can cities accelerate and encourage innovation in the smart city platform? You gave us a lot of examples, but if we're looking to the future, what's next? Uh, on, on a systemic level, I think the best way is to be functional, reliable, predictable, um, producing as much open data as possible, uh, in order to enable whatsoever, being a, a true test and, and uh, pilot environment. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and that is, I think, is 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 uh, even if it maybe don't sound that sexy. I think it, that <laughs> is the most uh, important task for us. Then, of course, we are, for uh, example, a big buyer, and of course, I think there uh, is a field uh, which still needs some further study, maybe together with some tech people, in in order how to really make a breakthrough in the so-called innovative uh, public procurement, which mm -hmm. is not an easy task, but but where we, I think, should be better that we are that we are today. And then, of course, the, the city is a huge machinery and we have a huge amount of concrete projects all, all, all the time. But mm -hmm. anyhow, I, I want to come back to my first part of my answer, to be a, a reliable, functional, smart, open, uh, predictable place. I think that is the best way to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And can we have a, another round of applause? <laughs> Thank you very much.